The next day, Caesar waits to meet Diane and Pauline at their favorite coffee shop. Since Diane made progress yesterday, I want to throw her right into her dream, which is to have coffee with her friends and her dogs. So let's do it. Oh, too rushy, too rushy. Hey! <laughs> Good girl, Fiona. Good girl. Without a rush. Good girl. You need help to so hold anybody? We've been, we've been practicing, Caesar. Yeah, as you should. Unfortunately, Miss Diane forgot everything I told her. Hey! <laughs> she came in excited, and her dogs did exactly the same. Very important that your dog enters into a coffee shop calmly. Always take your time. Always take your time. I'm gonna practice with the poodles first so you can see a little bit better. So here, as soon as you arrive here, you breathe, you relax, then they're going to perceive the environment that way. We slow down, we take our time, then we move in. See, yes? you, you break it down, you slow it down. Versus when you came in. <laughs> you see, look at this, see it? Oh my God, there you go. Everything was quiet. <laughs> so be careful because you can alter an environment yeah. by not being aware of your energy. So I'm hoping that Diane only need that little reminder. So I want Pauline and Diane to do this all over again. Diane really need to pull this off in order for her to expect to walk with her friend Pauline again. I was really nervous. I knew I had to do it and I couldn't let Caesar down. Great. That was good. No, I, I'm just ecstatic because I have felt, especially with these two girls with us last year, that I can't take them anywhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm just, I'm now. I'm thinking of all the places yeah, I want to take. Yeah, everywhere. Them. Caesar had me go back out, and come back in, and I came in slower, more sure. And so were the dogs. Uh, there was no barking or carrying on because they got it from me. Because uh, I got it from Caesar. 